Welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. On this episode, it's time to start on building the main base and getting one step closer to outer space. Uh, let's see here. Oh, and I had to slap on two more batteries onto this welder just to handle those extra atmospheric thrusters. So, woo Oh, come on, come on, I gotta pull out of there. Okay, maybe it's, can I go down? And get out of here wiggle 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 there we go okay I'm gross at 124,000 we're doing good and the plan on this or I should say what I've already did was I scouted ahead for a place to go ahead and set it, start setting up this base and it's gonna be right along the shore there's a little bit of a cliff you guys will see it when we get there So that way, we can start messing around with the large grid ships and, ap and atmospheric thrusters and work on hydrogen. But that's where we're going, dead ahead, right there where the crosshairs are. So I will see everybody when we get down there. Here it is. Destination Alpha Zero? I don't know. Well, anyways, so this is the spot I picked out. Went around this entire lake and I really like this spot and finally be in the sunlight a lot more often. That's why I'm going to play around with solar um, panels also. I was looking at this being the top and I should say the first level or the main level or the only level and scooting out in that direction. And just have plat a giant platform out there to start building the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like what I'll do. I know. I'm going to mess around with this a little bit. Tinker. See what's going to happen. Ooh. And we're within four kilometers of the RVMN beacon. But that's the plan of attack. So I'll see everybody in two seconds with an update. There it is. Just to start off with. Just did a 10 by 20 block foundation just to start with and as I was laying everything out I was kind of you know what I'm gonna have to have some battery ooh, 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 ooh. level out level out oh there we go all right whoa you know what how about we do this let me lighten the load a little on these guys but anyways as I was saving the ship from crashing when I was talking I was think, looking at uh, having, you know, ample battery storage. That way, when the big ship comes in. Oh, excuse me, that was a frog in my throat. Oh, man. Oh, this weighs a lot. Okay. Anyways, uh, so when the big ships come in, being able to just do a charge on them. So, I was thinking just right below here of having a battery bank, you know, a set, uh, basement kind of thing right beneath all of this just to go ahead and have a battery storage area. In well, not infinite. Uh, big enough of a storage area where I can ex keep expanding onto it if I had to. And that way, when the ship comes in, no problem charging it. Yeah, just an idea of toying with. I'm going to probably end up doing it because I'm kind of liking it more and more I think about it. And, all right. Still lightening the load a little bit, and then I'm going to go and do the middle part of the floor. And as always, with every episode, please leave your suggestions, comments, hints, whatever else you would like to in the comments here on this video. I'll read every single one of them. And thanks again for watching. Let's see if we can get this here without. Yeah, yeah, we should be able to. Not too much. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna finish welding this and uh, go get some supplies for some batteries and some wind turbines and get those things started up. And poke around. I think I saw some stairs too, so I'll, I'll be thinking of a way to get downstairs with that also. So I'll see everybody in about two seconds. One step further on the base building. Yep, got the four wind turbines up and running. 10 batteries to start charging. 
wanted to get these guys set just so we could get the power going. And also, a next step is to go ahead and put some storage containers down here with the connector. And we'll probably expand this out a little bit. I don't want to go over the ice. I want to keep this kind of pristine. But if I have to harvest ice, it might be over there or way over there. But storage containers with the connector. So when and then start building a large grid ship to start transporting all the ingots over here. And then I can start expanding and working on this base. Still haven't quite figured out exactly how I want to do it. Oh, there's a squirrel. OK. But, mm, so I figured, OK, let's take the first step and get all that stuff done here. And then we'll move on. So that's the plan of attack. Now, I really haven't figured out where I want the storage containers. I might put them up here against the back wall. And when it comes time to start enclosing everything. And if I, I put the 10 batteries here because if I had to, I'll just put a second, third, fourth, fifth layer of them. I also kept it open on this side. I'm not going to enclose the base until I get most of the innards done. And just to kind of get a better idea. I'm, it, I don't want it to be a brick. So all that's going to be going through my head as I start laying down all of this. I do want to leave a space in between. And so if I put one there. Yeah, because then I can run another section of blocks over that way. And so it'll be one block all the way around. So if I kind of go. All right, let's do that. Right, oh, make sure. Okay, yep. You know what? I want to rotate that with the with the panel. Oh, I can hit the right one. There we go. I'll start off by putting down six. That should definitely hold almost all of the ingots I've got out there. I'll put that one. And you know what? I want to fill this, have this space feel nice, open, and airy. Well, as I was trying to say before the game froze, was I want to keep this area nice, open, and airy feeling. Oop, did I go on there? Yeah. So I'm just going to keep it tall for right now. I might even just go taller. Why not? I'm going to be going out to space here pretty soon. I hope. And it should. Now. Oh, I don't want to get you in there. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's get you there. Okay. And I brought a few supplies with me, but I don't have enough to weld up all of it because all of it would not fit on there. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh oh that's not good. I'm going to have to fix that when I get back to the base over there. Didn't even notice. And it's not even functioning. Woo! Well, as I was saying, I've got one cargo container, a connector, and two welders. So I was able to bring over, I believe it's enough for four of them. But I also then slapped on two more batteries. So I've got a total of four going there. That seems to be okay. And again, experimenting with the ship as I'm flying stuff around. But let's get this stuff up and welded. And oh yeah, this welding ship, oh, it's a savior. Just welds it so fast. controls right so as soon as i get all of this welded up i'll be back with another update see you in about two seconds and there we go well if i can get the last of it there it is six storage containers went out five connectors or conveyor tubes with one connector and let's go ahead and dock this thing
There we go. You know what? I had better make sure that those welder batteries are on recharge so that they do not. There we go. There it is. Now let's see, how are these batteries doing? Okay, we're good. So, stuck the connector out way out there just to give it a little bit more room. So I don't have to worry about moving it. So when it does come in with a large grid ship, I figured that's far enough out. So if I wanted to have the connector actually inside the ship, no thruster damage, but that's where I'm going to start off with it. And I hope that leverage doesn't work too much because if I have a heavy ship, will that support it? I don't know. I'm going to find out. But for now, I, I'm going to... I'm going to see how much ingots I can get on here with four thrusters. And see how much I can start bringing over some iron and just transporting that stuff around. So let's go get the first load and start bringing it over. Oh, crap. I've got to set up some assemblers. Oh, totally forgot about those. Okay, give me a few minutes. I'm going to think about the layout on this. Okay, that was long enough. I'm just going to have them drop. Let's see if a product comes in here, fills up these. Boom. And I can have a row of assemblers just going right down here. Okay, so let's get this set up. Or, boom. And let's see, do I have an assembler set up already? Yes, I do. It's on the hotkey. Nice. Now, ooh, do I want to go that way? Um, oh, let me see if I can get, there we go, upright. Oh, let's flip it. There we go. Let's go four assemblers. Go one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Let's see what happens. I'm here to play and experiment. Oh crap! Which way was which? I think that's how I had him. Oh well, yeah, it's four, five. Oh, crappers. I won't have enough power for all of that because these take 500 kilowatts each. And right now I've got a total of about 1200. Hmm, okay, power usage. All right, I'll be okay. I can extend. These wind turbines off in that direction and also off in that direction. I put them over here so that when I come in with a ship, I wasn't going to be hitting that hillside. So the hillside's protecting the wind turbines, and the wind turbines are forcing me to stay away from there. And I'm also, I should also put up some lights up there just in case I come in at night. Because if I'm going out to space, ooh, pretty pretty okay i'm going for that whatever it is asteroid moon mars i don't know i'm gonna find out yeah okay let's see so i've got one two three four five six seven eight all right let's see how that works out i'll get all this put together and we'll start seeing what happens. So I'll see everybody in about two seconds. There we have it. The last assembler put together. How short 10 steel grids to finish it all off. So we got all eight of them there. 
And I was messing around on the original base there. And this first one, the assembler. Let's see. Uh, how'd I do it? Okay, I think I just, well, let's try here. Okay. Want to do it a cooperative mode. I got to make sure the conveyor's on. But he's the master, or she is. This one is cooperative. That's co-op. That's co-op. And we just do all of them there. So that should work. On how do you put it? distributing the load, the workload among all eight of them. However, eight of them, that's going to be 4,500 kilowatts. And I've only got about 1,200 going right now. So, like I said earlier, I'm going to have to put in some more you know, wind turbines. I'll probably put some power efficiency modules on this. Uh, kind of, yeah, get them on this side too. Okay, I'm going to play around with that a little bit, think about it, see how it goes. But, I'm going to do the first run of some iron ingots in this welding ship. I'm going to shoot for a hundred, let's see, so I've got four, four giant, four large thrusters on there. At 40,000 a piece, that's 160 kilos. And the ship, by itself is 38,000. So I should be able to get 120,000 kilos of ingots on it. And I've got the connector. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not used to it flying it around empty. But I've got the connector there for it. So I'm gonna go make a run for 100,000 kilos of iron. And I think that the magnesium platform would be the best bet. So, see everybody when I get there. Okay, here at the mag magnesium facility. I forgot I had set this up to spit out the gravel. So, time to go over there to the cobalt where I did set up one as an experiment. Let's get connected to this thing. Kind of nervous excited at the same time. Okay. Here. Boom, boom. Oh crap, which one did I have which? Um, okay, this first one was stone. Or gravel, I should say. So it's that one I want to connect to. Alright. Oh, let's try it this way. There we go. So, all this connecting there. Got the one cargo container. So let's get the ingots. I wonder how much I can put in there just all at once. Ah, oh, 26,000? Okay. There's 52, 53, 2. All right. E. Ah, what the hell? Let's go all four. Okay. Do or die. Let's see what happens. If I disconnect. I'm 100 and, oh, 143. No, I should be okay because it was 160. So let's see what. It, well, I'm hovering, obviously. Turn that off. I have enough to pull away. What? I did this earlier. I had to shuffle around. No. Okay. I got to take some of it off.
Oh, where'd I miss it? There we go. So I'm going to put it here. So if I put one, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try that. I'm 128,000. panel there's the connector there was a strength setting okay well hmm if I toggle the block oh no no I'm not gonna I don't want to toggle it off what if I go point zero zero one that get me out of there yes okay back up and I'll hook up again and we'll load it up some more I'm gonna miss it oh I'm right there wow did I turn it down too low there. Okay. Let's let's load you back up. Okay, there we go. Hundred forty three thousand again. There it is. Okay. I want to stay level. And the main base, right over there. Yep. Doing good. Okay. We'll see everybody when I get over there. And I hope to be in one piece when I arrive. Oh my gosh, one kilometer away. And I put my reverse thrusters on, and I don't think I'm gonna miss it, miss it, miss it, miss it. Okay. Whew. All right, those four thrusters seem to be holding it upright pretty well. the base. Nope, nope. Okay. Get it on over there. Oop. Wow. Get on in. Is that gonna lock? Yes. Did it? Yes, it did. Okay. Oh, which, well, let's go throw it into that one. I didn't set up anything, so I'll have to do it manually, will it? Yes. Excellent. Okay, the first hundred and thousand kilos of ingots are transferred that was a success okay I'll see everybody after a while I got a lot of transport to do and I'm gonna start up the assemblers and see how they work in cooperative mode oh but before I do that uh, before I go off and get the other ingots yeah definitely time to uh, see how these assemblers work so if I, let's see, if I come into the first one, assembler, 
production. Let's make a thousand. Oh, does it look like it did? Okay, Assembler 2 is doing some. Assembler 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, now the question is, how are the batteries doing? Alright, well, it seems to be handling it okay for now. But I'm definitely going to have to get that power up and running. Oh, it's still turning it. How is it, how is it doing? No way. Oh my gosh. That finished it in a heartbeat. Okay, I like this setup so far. And again, if you've got any hints or tips or tricks, please post them in the comments. Okay, I'll see everybody in about two seconds after I get uh, a lot of this transport done. There it is. I ended up ha getting eight wind turbines put up and on the assemblers, went ahead and put two power efficiency modules on each one. That it brought it down where the wind turbines can handle all eight of them with no problem and continue to charge the 10 batteries on the other side. Then with the components being sucked out and dropped into this container, I can just come in right now. Uh oh and hook up my ship which is slightly damaged and then suck everything out of it and what's cool too is i found out so like on this oh that's really damaged okay put it on the build planner oh you know what i can get it from this side too and jeff middle bows and they were put into production from here i don't have to do it into the assemblers there they go. Oh my gosh, having all eight of them set up like this. Done. Just like that, all those components. And just come on over here. Take everything out. And weld it on up. Okay, but now, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I've got to get uh, the survival kit, but, 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 my oxygen and hydrogen, well, hydrogen mostly, but as I was going through everything, is this a medical station or the medical room? Let's drop both of them on there and see what they look like. I'm, I'm going to guess that these both do the same thing, or maybe not. Oh, I don't know. What does this guy look like? Ooh, that's ooh, that's a big one. Oh. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to build one of these and see because I'm seeing a connection there on that side and that side. Okay, I'm gonna have to see. Oh, I bet you I'm going to have to have this connected. Oh, no, I can put an O2H2 generator on it. Okay, so... Oh, but I need some components. And I need some interior plates. So, let's get... Oh, we're right here. Oh. Okay. Well, as soon as uh, I figure out exactly where this is going to go, let me get this set up. And I'll see everybody in about two seconds. Okay, this guy's all welded up. Yeah. Oh, it looks like the same interface. So, okay. And so the only thing I can't get, it looks like, is hydrogen. However, hmm, I wonder if I put an O2H2 generator here and plumb it into one of these containers. Then, when I'm out with the supply ship, 
mining up some ice drop it in there and have it sucked in there okay I'm gonna play around with that now the reason I'm doing all of this is oh let's see do I have hydrogen here yeah I got enough for a flight is on those unknown signals with the drop pods I'll show you what I discovered okay on these random drop pods what I've been doing is before it was just coming in here taking out whatever it had and then start grinding it just taking the material from it well I finally went ahead and pushed this button special content okay and well I didn't get a special item this time however in the past there's been items that I've been getting you received a special item you need to change your appearance in a medical room so that's why I set this up over here but now the question is oh right there okay press F to change my appearance hot dog there it is so in between episodes I've always been uh, catching all of this oh no way player model oh guess what female there it is all right now recycling uh, helmets Ooh, Ely, soldier. Yeah, Hmm. Oh, do I have something for a full suit? Oh, gloves. Newspaper. Okay, cool. Let's go in all matching. And what about boots? Proper boots. Excellent. Oh, tools, that's right. Do I have? Proper welder. Ranger? Drills? Get out of here. Well, I haven't used a rifle yet. And there it is. Oh, how cool. Even though I can't see myself, but still, I'm glad I did it. Okay. Well, that took care of that. All right. I'm going to hook up. Let's see here. I needed. Uh, I don't know. Do I have it on here on the hot bar? Yeah. There it is. Okay. I see how. It, oh. You know, I've got to... Can I put that into production? No, nope. how about... I don't care if they were deposited. Can I... Opponents added the build planner. Nope, that didn't do it. Okay. That added it. Alright, so then now if I... Jeff middle click. Okay, that got it. I can come over here. There, everything withdrawn. Okay, so there's a port on that. The all sides, huh? There's one on the bottom. Okay, let's do that. We'll stand it upright. Pop it there. And. Oh, excellent. I can just plumb it right into there. Alright, so now I need oh, some interior plates. Go. Uh, we'll put. Yeah, that should do it. Hmm. Did that? Oh, did that get it? Yeah, that got it. Hmm. Okay. 
might have to plumb this underneath of it and just have my basement down there. So I've got all this room underneath here. I think I might do all the plumbing down there. I don't know. But for right now, i got to get this up and running, make sure I, I've got some hydrogen coming in. So let's grab all those components. Okay, that's there. All right, I'm going to go get some ice. Drop it on in there and get some hydrogen set up. All right, see everybody in about two seconds. And just like that, we got ice. Now, let's see, make sure it's getting to the generator. Yep, excellent. Yeah. Oh, 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 can I reach it from here? Uh-oh, did you fill it up and I... Yes, all right, excellent. Another drop pod dropped and there was nothing in it. That's why I went ahead and grind, ground it down. Okay, so let's go drop this stuff off. All right, now, Depending upon uh, what the editing is on this one, uh, this might be the end of this episode. I wanted to get to start building a ship. But, oh, you know what I can do? Let's. Oh, I thought I had some out there. I guess not. Let's go here. We will drop you right there. And, oh my, yeah, that's a, oh boy, that is a huge ship right there. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'm going to make a large grid dip for transporting the goods. I think I'm going to stay with that small grid and play around with the thruster thrusters thrusters uh, I'm looking it's gonna probably be eight uh, large atmosphere thrusters on the small grid so you know what I just might have to do that next episode but anyways we got power we got assembling I've got the basic ore in here to start building stuff and uh, we still yeah the welding ship's still working and yeah, no it's working fine okay I think, yeah. Thank you for joining me on this journey in space engineers. And as always, enjoy life and be safe.